Hi friends, today we'll be talking about one of the techniques which is commonly used for separation and purification of proteins that is your gel filtration. Now we know that for uh, separation of enzymes, separation of different proteins, there are various uh, methods uh, which have been used in biochemistry. Uh, one of the methods which is specifically used especially for concentrating uh, the proteins of large molecular mass is gel filtration. Gel filtration, chromatography or we also refer to this as the molecular exclusion chromatography. Remember, so this particular method, it separates the what you call as proteins based on their molecular size or you can say the molecular weight. Uh, let me clarify first that the video is not going to contain the technical details of uh, the process as such. It will be only a simple way of knowing that what is the exact principle behind this gel filtration or molecular exclusion chromatography. So friends we know that when you are separating out the proteins you need to know on what criteria they are to be separated. So there are different ways you can separate the proteins based on their charge, you can separate the proteins proteins based on their binding affinity, you can separate the proteins based on their uh, specific absorption. You can separate the protein here in this case based on its uh, molecular weight or molecular size. So what exactly is done in this gel filtration or molecular exclusion chromatography? So you have a column which is packed with porous beads remember so you have this entire column which is going to be packed with these porous beads remember these beads uh, as they are appearing now they are not like this but then they are porous so like to have an enlarged view you will have one particular bead uh, which will have a pore so these particular columns you can use you can use uh, bio rad gels you can use sapphiros uh, you can use agarose beads which are porous right so these particular porous beads which have uh, the pores of a particular predetermined size so now you have a mixture of proteins and these mixture of proteins they are now layered on top of this particular column so now what is going to happen now so so you have different proteins which have uh, different molecular sizes. Uh, the obvious thing is that that some of the proteins will have a molecular size which is smaller than the pore of this particular bead. There might be some of the proteins which have a molecular size exactly exactly similar to the pore of this particular bead. On the other hand, you may have a certain uh, protein molecules whose molecular size is much greater than the pore size of this particular bead. Now, can be variations in this right so once you have this particular mixture of proteins and that mixture of proteins you have poured here right so now they will start moving you have added the buffer they are moving around now when they are moving around when they are moving around means idhar udhar nahi ghumne wale wo when they are moving around that means they are going to enter in this particular column so while entering you can see that this particular bead uh, it will allow the passage of only those molecules which are smaller than this particular pore size this one will barely uh, try to enter this pore whereas this will be excluded from this particular pore because its size is bigger. So therefore this particular chromatography we refer to as the molecular exclusion chromatography because it is excluding the molecules which are uh, having the size or weight larger than this particular pore. So now what is going to happen you have added these particular proteins here all such large size proteins now they will what you call as move from the sides without entering these particular pores. So they will elute out first. So as you have added the buffer from here, yaan se aapne buffer dala, right? So the molecules which are having a larger size, if you collect the elute volume here, you will find that in the first fraction, you will have all those molecules whose molecular size is much larger. Comparatively later when you are adding these buffer, these particular what you call as molecules which are having an intermediate uh, molecular size, they will uh, somewhat enter in some beads whereas sometimes they will not enter. So the next ones to come in the next volume now will be these particular proteins. Now the separation is not going to be uh, so sharp but then still you will have a second fraction which is containing these intermediate molecules. Then you have these smaller molecules which have entered into these particular beads 
तो इनका भी कैसे होगा कि दे हैव एंटर्ड ईयर नाउ वंस दे एंटर ईयर दे हैव अ बीड ईयर दे हैव एंटर्ड देम सेल्स इनसाइड दिस नाउ नेक्स्ट दे विल अगेन एंटर द नेक्स्ट वन दे विल अगेन एंटर द नेक्स्ट वन रिटर्निंग देन नेक्स्ट वन रिटर्निंग नेक्स्ट वन रिटर्निंग नेक्स्ट वन तो व्हाट विल हैपन इज कि उनका जो स्पीड है द स्पीड विद व्हिच दे व्हाट यू कॉल एज आर मूविंग थ्रू द कॉलम यू नीड टू गो ऑन एडिंग बफर 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 ऐड करते जाओ फिर ये बेचारे इसमें से निकलेंगे दे विल कम आउट फ्रॉम हियर देन दे विल गो इनटू द अनदर दे विल कम आउट फ्रॉम सो द मोशन is retarded so therefore you will find that the smaller the molecule the more time it will take for it to elute out so the smallest one will come later uh, generally whenever we are talking about electrophoresis or sds or any such other such what you call as methods which are separating the molecules based on their molecular size we generally see that smaller molecules move faster and larger molecules they come later so remember here it is reverse in gel filtration chromatography the basic thing which you have to remember is your larger molecules the molecules which are larger rather the ones which are completely excluded they elute out first the smaller molecules right they elute later so your smaller molecules right so they elute later remember so jaise jaise aap buffer dalenge bada wala molecule it will not enter the beads so ting 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 side se bahar मीडियम साइज के मॉलिक्यूल कभी साइड से कभी अंदर से कभी साइड से कभी अंदर से इंटरमीडिएटली एंड देन द स्मॉलर वन इट विल गेट ट्रैप्ड इन ऑल दोज बीट सो इट विल टेक इट्स ओन टाइम स्वीट टाइम क्रॉस ऑल द बीट्स नॉट लीव इवन वन एंड देन इट विल ट्रैवल 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 एंड देन इट विल कम आउट सो द स्मॉलेस्ट मॉलिक्यूल इट विल कम द लेटर एंड द लार्जर मॉलिक्यूल इट विल कम आउट फर्स्ट सो दिस द बेसिक प्रिंसिपल ऑफ दिस पर्टिकुलर जेल फिल्ट्रेशन क्रोमेटोग्राफी सो रिमेंबर सो द पॉइंट्स टू रिमेंबर इयर एज आई टोल्ड आई नॉट कवर्ड द टेक्निकल डिटेल्स Will be with us for more such videos where we will be covering these technical details. The points to remember here are: gel filtration separates the molecule based on their molecular weight or molecular size. The larger molecules they elute out first, and the smaller molecules they come later. For what purpose we use this? What are the basic advantages of this particular method? Number one, there is no chemical interaction or even any kind of ionic interaction between the protein which is being eluted and the substances which are present in this particular column. There is no interaction. So therefore, uh, your molecule or protein, your enzyme, it is not altered at all. So since there is no interaction between them, there is no alteration in their activity or their structure as such. you will find that it can be used for desalting like when we are precipitating the enzyme with ammonium sulfate you separate it by dialysis the ammonium salts you can also separate it by this particular gel filtration chromatography for desalting of these particular proteins you can use yes you can use this particular method for determining the molecular weight an approximate molecular weight of the protein could be determined by using gel filtration chromatography or molecular exclusion chromatography and concentration of uh, Uh, proteins of high molecular weight is one of the basic advantages of this particular gel filtration chromatography so stay tuned with us for more detailed description of this also and many other chromatography techniques in future with me professor girish kukreja thank you